Okay, um, we did uh, bi-directional big building domes with uh, bi-directional grids, which is uh, a bunch of lines like this, uh, and we use the rotate tool. Grab the middle one. Grab an end, and we rotate to make a grid. Um, there is another way we can do it, uh, and as far as I know, this is the only other way we can do it. Instead of rotating 90 degrees to make a square grid, we rotate 60 degrees, and we do that twice. So what we end up with is, I'll just deselect, is a tri-grid or three-way grid, uh, and if you saw the last tutorial about the two-way grid, um, and I'll, I'll probably go through this one a bit quicker, uh, we can then just rub out the lines we don't need. I'll do the, I'll probably do this, uh, speed this up a bit. Right, we have our flat grid. It doesn't have to be an exact hexagon. It can be um, something close to a hexagon. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't think, anyway. We'll find out shortly. Um, so you end up with this flat three-way grid. Uh, and if you watched the last tutorial, all we did was uh, select the inside here and uh, lift it up. Now uh, selecting from a hexagon shape in SketchUp is not that easy. Uh, I'm just going to work out how we can do this now. And, yep, I think we have to go we cut this off here like this and maybe turn it Right, we've deselected the. Uh, let's put it back to the way we started. Right, I've deselected the um, outside edge. Uh, one, two, three, four. We've got about five or six of these to do. Not sure what we're going to do in the middle yet. But, um, right, what we'll do next is we lift it up. catch it on the blue axis right and we want to lift it up maybe let's try 400 let's try 500 yeah 500 um now on the on the bi-directional grid what i did was uh we have what we have to do now is deselect uh this next layer so use the select tool
messed it up a bit to be honest but I've taken this wire frame and I've uh, ma made some flat panels and what I've done I've selected all these here and um, because basically this uh, in this structure there's only one triangle there's no other, there's no other shape so all we need to do is uh, get the height that we want uh, and select these and we need two components so what I'll do is I'll move this away from here I'm just gonna zoom off there a little bit and make a copy so we have this is our main component we'll, we'll uh, make that edit make that into um, a group and what we can do next is uh, we need one this way up let's just go from here um, and one that way up let's move this and get it to snap to that corner not doing it snap it up there and then snap it down well, it won't snap to that corner for some reason but hey sketchup does this now and again misbehaves will you snap to that corner There you go, at last. Right, we have two components. Uh, one this way up and one that way up. Uh, and if this is the height of our building that we want, so it's it's one triangle repeated till we get the height of the building, so that could be anything. Um, and then we need one that way up and one the other way up. And this should be enough to give us everything we need to make um, any kind of uh, structure we want. What we, knew, what we do next is we rotate on the blue plane from this point. Let's try and get that right. From the blue plane, 60 degrees, and make a copy. Let's make a copy. There you go, 60 degrees. We do that times two. Or even times three if we wanted. Let's do it times three. There we go. And what we end up with is this. Um, what I can do is we select select that's what I wanted. This one, and we can rotate this from from this center. Now, which one's the center? I believe that's the center midpoint. Yeah. There we go, uh, and obviously uh, these four can be rotated again about the central point. This is then the mid midpoint, 180 degrees, which is a degrees um, let's have a look here now so you can join at 60 or 120 that's a person for scale and you can see that uh, you can make like a, a big complex like that. Uh, the this is based on a a uh, pyramid pattern so there is only one triangle in this whole structure there's only one triangle uh, if we look at another structure this is built in the same way the grid method but instead of going up um, evenly 500 we did on the last one you grad you uh, you you go up progressively less so the first one's 500 the next four three two 
one and uh, this one has one two three four five six different um, triangle frames which is not bad considering the, the size of structure you can build um, and you can also build uh, tunnel shapes uh, and again you can fit in the ends um, and pretty much anything will fit together uh, the same as the bi grid uh, you grab any point and it will fit uh, to any other point